What's going on, Pokemon Card Nation? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna tell you a story. The story about how I screwed up today by buying Pokemon cards. Now, this all happened today and I found it kind of hilarious, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys today. So sit back and just get ready to listen. So a while back, I had sold a bunch of cards to somebody on TCG Player. It was a pretty big order and I happened to be missing one of the cards they ordered. I'm not sure how it ended up in my inventory, but it was there. And so what I did was I contacted them and I said, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to buy that card from another seller and have it drop shipped to your house. And then I'll also refund you for that specific card. And they agreed to it. This buyer ordered about 30 cards for me. I don't remember specifically which card was missing. Well, to drop ship from another seller to this buyer, I had to put their address into my TCG player account. Well, today I went shopping for a bunch of cool Frostmoth second place cards, and I never changed the address back to my place. So I ordered these cards like two days ago. They all get shipped out. I don't think anything about it. I forgot to check my address to make sure it was correct. And this is why I forgot to change it. Today, a friend of mine from Australia wanted to get some Shining Ho-Ohs because they're cheaper in America than they are in Australia. He runs a card shop. He wanted to get them in bulk. So I went on to TCG Player and ordered about eight Shining Ho-Ohs for my friend over in Australia. Well, thankfully, I checked my address first just to make sure it was correct this time so I didn't send like $120 worth of Shining Ho-Oh cards to somebody else's place. And I realized the address was wrong. So I changed it to mine. That way I am getting my Shining Ho-Oh card. However, the Frostmoth cards I ordered a few days ago are being delivered to somebody else's house. And I'm a little upset about this, even though it's my own fault. There's nobody to blame but me. It was my own doing right away when I first did this. And I just, I don't think, I don't know why I didn't do it. I think it was late at night when I was trying to get this thing done for that particular buyer. So I never changed it back to my address. And now I'm learning from my mistake. I did go and contact the person who they're being sent to. I hope he contacts me back because I would like to get my cards. But if not, then you guys can learn from my mistake. If you ever drop ship anything or just, you know, you're shipping a card to somebody else's place and just you're like a middleman, make sure you check the address or you're going to make a mistake like I did. It's a big mistake on my part. It's all my fault. Nobody else's fault. Hopefully I can at least get my cards because it wouldn't be ethical or right of me to ask for a refund from TCG player or from these sellers when I'm the one who screwed up here. So I'm just going to let it ride out. Hopefully this guy contacts me. If not, I'm going to be out like $35, which is unfortunate. Uh, I did offer to pay the guy shipping for the cards as well as throw him some extra money. So hopefully they can get to me. Uh, most people in this community are pretty nice. I hope he's one of them. So that's the story about how I screwed up today by just buying Pokemon cards. And yes, I had an eventful day trying to get this all figured out because on top of that, I was checking places for chilling rain and I have not found anywhere yet. I wanted to see if they got stuff early, so I've been trying to get some for my YouTube channel. And I just had a little bit of a crazy day today with a little bit of a funny story. And I'm trying to just not be upset about it and just laugh about it because I messed up. It's funny. You know, I'm out a little bit of money, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they get back to me. If not, it's not the end of the world. I did, however, go and buy some more Frostmouth cards after that because I wanted some of the first place ones anyways. So I went and got the first place ones and this time, I made sure my address was correct. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it all gets worked out in the end. Thank you for listening to my stupid story. I really appreciate that. If you guys are new around here, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to share and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this story. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye now.